We are team Mars Rover UIU from United International University, Bangladesh. This year, for the first time ever, we are participating in European Rover Challenge. Our team consists of 17 members in total from the departments of Computer Science and Engineering and Electrical and Electronics Engineering. The team leader is responsible for the overall management and workflow of the team. The team is organized into five sub-teams that include an electrical sub-team of four members, a mechanical sub-team of eight members, a software sub-team of four members, a science analysis sub-team of four members, and a business development sub-team of two members. Each uh, sub-team is operated under distinct leads. We are looking forward with great anticipation and enthusiasm to attend the European Rover Challenge, the biggest robotics and space technology event in Europe. We hope to meet world class scientists and engineers and explore their ways of problem solving. We want to make friends with our fellow competitors and gain insight on our comparative skill levels. We want to take our research in robotics, embedded systems, automation and space tech further. We intend to use the experience we gain from ERC to improve our Mars rover in the hope that someday we'll be able to develop designs and ideas that can be used in the real Mars exploration projects. Miles steel. Wheels are made approaching a very popular method that is terra mechanics. The wheels have multiple layers of PVC and fiber inside it to reduce the weight. We have managed the weight distribution by weighing each wheel as 3 kgs and the overall weight of our rover will be around 30 kgs. The electronic system is a single portable package contained in an acrylic box with smart cooling system. For the main processor unit, uh, power distribution and management and safety of the equipment, we have customized a PCB based on plug and play method which also enables ease of debugging. Power banks are separate from each other, so power failure of one segment does not have an impact on the other ones. The communication process has been set up using a 2.4 GHz outdoor Wi-Fi with an 80 dBi antenna router in the rubber and the same kind of Wi-Fi with a 24 dBi grid parabolic antenna in the control station. To handle router malfunction, we are using NRF2 as backup. The rover software is our own unique creation. Each part of the software works independently. The software is designed in two parts, control side as the client and rover side as a server. We have used one Raspberry Pi 2 for the video server and the other one for the, uh, for the rover control and sensor data analysis. Wireless data transmission is done by implementing a client server application through WebSocket server. If the server disconnects during tasks, it can auto reconnect within 500 milliseconds. For the science test, we are performing some chemical tests like the MPK test, carbonate test, etc. to uh, detect different chemical components of the soil. Besides these, we are using a moisture sensor to determine the moisture amount and a pH sensor to find, it, uh, to find out if the soil is acidic or alkaline. We are also using a thermal sensor and we can compare the collected data, uh, data with data from the internet to decide if the environment is suitable for human survival. Using the data from the GPS and the gyroscope sensor and offline maps, we can create a 3D graphical view of the terrain. Currently, we are working on the automation of our rover. is defined to have 4 degree of freedom and we are working to update that to a 6 degree of freedom arm. In addition to that, we will be using DC motor instead of servo motors for better ease of operation. The arm as whole can rotate up to 360 degrees for better flexibility.